home. I got no believe I get to take him home now, and I'm just, I'm just really happy. Nothing can quite compare to actually being together. Okay, so tell me, what's the first thing you want to do with your dad now that he's back? Go fishing. Yes. So many awesome moments captured, and we love when our sailors and our servicemen and women come home. And right now, more than 300 sailors are reunited with their families. The USS Fort McHenry pulled into Naval Station in Mayport today. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace brought you live coverage of the arrival all morning today on Action News Jack's this morning. New at 5, she introduces us to one sailor who got to meet his daughter for the very first time. For months, families hung on to these moments. We were there when USS Fort McHenry deployed out of Naval Station Mayport. December, January, February, seven months out at sea. He missed Christmas, he missed Valentine's Day, our anniversary. So he's missed a lot. So he's coming back. I'm sure he's going to be so happy to celebrate with us all. Families waited by the water, trying to find their sailor's face on the ship. Some walked off, meeting their babies for the first time. So good. I'm so relieved. <laughs> Is this the first time you're meeting your daughter? Yes. He's right here, and I still don't believe that he's home. Like, I don't believe I get to take him home now, and I'm just, I'm just really happy. <laughs> These sailors have been gone since December. I just talked to the commanding officer of the ship who told me that their mission took them to Europe and the Middle East. It was challenging, like all the deployments are, but the 2-2 Mu and the Fort McHenry uh, provided a ready presence and amphibious assault capability, particularly Fort McHenry in the Mideast and in Europe. After a challenging mission, more than 300 sailors are back home. One teared up, listening to his daughter describe their plans for the day. Daddy plays with me and reads me and watch TV with me and I like how I watch Fighting Dory. <laughs> Their efforts deepen existing relations with allies and partner nations. Reporting in Mayport, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News, Jax. Oh, it's so good to see all those hugs and those little kids welcoming them in home, their parents. Naval Station Mayport is growing. As early as next month, Mayport will get its sixth littoral combat ship, the USS Billings, followed by uh, follows the Milwaukee, the Sioux City, Wichita, Detroit, and the USS Little Rock. Eventually, 14 littoral combat ships will be based out of Mayport, which means millions of dollars of economic impact to Jacksonville.